Uh, hello, hello, my slimes. Welcome back to another mid lane commentary. Uh, just like I said in the last commentary, today we're staying true by what we're playing. We're only touching Corky, we're only touching Orianna, and then we're touching Ari, Talon, and Gragas. Those are the only champions we will be playing. Um, at least on my main account. If you do want me to play other champions, feel free to comment and I will play it on a smurf, but I really want to climb. So I will only play champions that I have deemed to be good on this server. Um, I think champions that hyper carry in fights by doing a bunch of damage, uh, where you can just kind of go up 5 CS in lane, 10 CS in lane, 15 CS in lane, and then just carry the game from that. I've deemed those to be very good. And I've deemed the more proactive champions that can force a lot to be very good as well. So those are the champions that I will be playing. Trindamir mid. Yeah, I did not anticipate this, I will be honest. But that was a really bad animation cancel on your or auto cancel on your part. I did not quite expect this though, I will be honest. I kinda wish I played Ari now. Yeah, you will just one shot the wave like Trindemir does, and I will have absolutely no counterplay. It's very cool, very interactive, very fun. And you will just walk over here and play like a complete psycho. There's no way. <laughs> what? Like, like what? <laughs> There's just no way. Dude, I can't follow this. I will just sit in mid lane. I should have just kept on sitting mid lane. Like, what is that? Problem is now Elise will probably invade my echo. So I think I have to shove. probably have to trade pretty aggressively with him as well. Even though he has Ignite, it's very important for me to stop him from roaming. That kind of sucks, but yeah. Very important that I stop him from roaming. Okay, let's just run up here now. Like, there's an Elise there for sure. Okay, we're not playing it for sure. I don't know how we're gonna win this game. If we don't play this, and we just let her have your jungle, but I'm down for it, sure. I don't mind it. But you are screwed, I think. Maybe I can contest the raids. Well, even the raids are gone. <laughs> oh, my echo is so doomed. So doomed. He's just gone again, isn't he? Yeah, he's just warding. Wait, what? What? Excuse me? What? There? I mean, Tridemir is down in CS, but my echo is so far behind that I don't know that it's that good even. I think I can look to crash this wave maybe, and then make some magic happen. Elise will come mid lane from top side. I shouldn't auto him there. I should just Q him and then auto the minion. <laughs> this is gonna be an issue if Trindemir has more CS than me after this wave. Just because I'm last hitting 40. Elise is still top. I can keep pressuring him under tower. Look for this Q. Look to CS properly. Miss every single last hit in the world. Miss the Q. Miss this last hit as well. Guys, I fear I might just be boosted. Like, what do you think? Thoughts? Like, certainly possible, isn't it? That I am just the worst player of all time. Could be the case. I don't think it's diveable. Though I would love to dive him. I could try to force this. In the air, I think I am just dead. Nope, I live. Keep running, just keep running. Take the Elise Flash and move on. Take the Elise Flash and reset and TP back to lane. By call and tear. TP back to lane. I mean, I had nothing, so I hope that we don't expect me to try to play this. Like, that would be a bit unrealistic. I would be down to continue playing it, though. 
I think this could be good. Wow, really, really well played by the pike. Really well played. Also really griefed by the Trindamir. I think I could fast push this, but I could also just slow push. I don't think I crash it in time. I've just missed a bit too much CS. Need to focus up CS properly. I should be at least 10 CS up here. If not more. I think I've missed too much. I think we can afford to crash this now. Trindamir will catch the wave. Try to deny him as many minions as possible here. I mean, just getting an assist I think is enough for me. I missed that as well, man. I guess you would imagine at some point that it would just stop. And I can do this and then have to be careful of the Elise gank, I guess. Have to be respectful of the fact that he can E on top of me again now. Oh, am I just dead? <laughs> That's a funny way to die. Okay, I don't die. That's cool. I think he could kill me, by the way, if he wanted to. Ha! Yeah, nice. Well played, bruh. Good play by you, sir. Actually, I'm fucking joking. What a terrible play by you, actually. But you can look for it again, can't you? question is, do you find it when I level up here? Do you find the E-Flash when I level here? I think the answer to that is probably no. <laughs> You're so cocky. You're so cocky. So confident that I just don't have enough mana. And you're correct. Just aim for the trend in no? I just have to leave. I have to reset because Gragas can be here. I would love to stay in the lane, but I don't think I can afford to. I think there's a shield bow game. Usually I would like to play like Ludens, but I think this is a shield bow game for sure. Oh, you're dead again. Please just flash. Nice, good. Well played. My Echo is somehow carrying the game after whatever happened early game. It's kind of crazy. That he can fall this far behind and then still just do super well. I think he's doing really, really well. I also think that Trindamir is playing like a complete like dog. He could have killed me mm, twice. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why he didn't continue the dive, especially when he had flash up and I didn't have W. I think he just didn't know my W timer, but even if I have W, you still just flash after me and I'm dead on the spot. I think he played that a bit poorly. Okay, good herald by them, I think. Maybe bad play by me. Q. Hover bot side now. This has to be bait for Elise. No, it's not. Yeah, leave, leave, leave. No, yeah, just leave. It's fine. What can they do? Like, they can come behind us, but we have Echo. I'm all... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Gragoos. Gragonia is here. Wait, they're just playing Herald? Guys, I need some assistance in the mid lane. There's just four manning mid lane. Sure, man. Yeah, I mean, this is a, certainly a play. Would love if the Herald would uh, turn the other way for a moment. But it's cool. Oh, okay. We die. It's not very poggers, I don't think. Don't quite have W yet. Want to be a bit careful here. Elise and Gragas can still be here. Q. 
you ult and then look to leave maybe. I have package in base, but Drake timer is quite long. I think it's fine. I think I can pick up package and then look to play it. I think it's okay. I, think I also want to do this actually. Alt once before picking up package, just to make sure that I have the big one. It automatically refills your alt anyway, so it doesn't really matter how many of them you use. But it means that you get to start off with the big one, which is usually beneficial. They only got two plates off of that, by the way, which is not that much. I have to look for the turn to me here. Ideally, I cancel him. But it uh, looks like I didn't kill these minions properly, so I can't cancel him. I was top lane looking. That does not look roamable. Maybe I go place a pink cord here. Just get a little bit of a vision. Belveth bot lane. Okay. Keep forgetting that Belveth is the support here. It's pretty crazy. I don't mind using my packages for plates, to be honest. I don't think that's terrible. Either. Play on the top side. I can follow. Oh, he's just dead anyway. I think the problem if he dashes on me is I might actually just murder him. Oh wait, my package ran out. What? Wow. It's a pretty shit package. Although I did use it for perma priority. He leaves mid lane from bot side by the way. Good night. Sweet prince. Sucks, have to leave them. Yeah, just don't play it, it's fine. I think I can grab this wave though. I think I can be greedy. I really want it. I think I just do this. Then we're good. Yeah. Then just reset, mostly because it gives me shield bow, which is nice. Shield bow TP back to lane. Make sure Trinomia doesn't get a roam timer. Sounds pretty good to me. Just wait for mana. Want it to be around here, and then we TP. I can afford to wait for full mana. If I'm gonna TP anyway, right? I'm not gonna lose anything. If I was running back to lane, I would not wait for full mana. I'd probably run on half mana, and then just look to play the lane. But if I'm gonna TP anyway, I might as well come back as strong as possible, right? Go for ward on bot side. Make sure I'm not getting roamed on. Mm, could look to go bot lane, but... My champ doesn't really roam without package, so... Shut down. Just push the waves. Okay, you can try to trade all you want, brother, but I don't think it will be beneficial for you. Just walk up. Walk bot side, maybe? Oh. Well, aren't you scary? <laughs> There's just no way my... <laughs> This guy is doing really well. I can still keep clearing mid lane. It's fine. Like, I'm not gonna do any realistic damage to the Trindamir. This is how he can just keep trading with me. Set him up for a pike ult. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. Wait, really? Brother, you do not kill me under any circumstances. Especially not if I have cocky movement like this. God, you see the cockiest movement uh, like on this planet. Uh, she doesn't kill me even if I get hit by the cocoon, by the way. That was why I was willing to play it like that. Uh, because I have shield bow up. So I knew she, there's no way she was touching me. I think I reset here. Let's go for ward here. I know you want to play Drake. But I have to go for base here. Wow, we got top lane tower already. Wow, that is pretty insane, I think. Okay. By the way, the reason for uh, shield... Oh. She just dead. I have to run straight here. I can't touch the wave. The play is gonna be too fast. That really sucks. Can't kill. My piker just dies. Can't do anything there. 
I can't really reset either, or I can't not reset. I mean, this is for sure playable, by the way. Frag is behind me. Nice, good shutdown. Ends up working out. It's nice. Uh, maybe that was greedy rocket to look for. Oh, I can't believe it hit anyway. It should never hit, I don't think. We drop tower, huh? Yeah, cool. Nice one, Gragas. I like it. Wait, really now? Oh, I missed the ult. I don't think he dies anyway. Actually, he does to pike ult. That sucks. Yeah, I should have hit that. But the reason, by the way, for a shield bow into Navori in this game, which is what I'm building. But you have the cannon. You've been a good boy. His enemy team is quite short range. So it means I can consistently auto in fights. I have package here as well. Herald is spawning. I have mana immune as well. It's pretty big. gonna drop before we even get there isn't it that sucks I would love to fight it though I think I'm too late I mean, if they play it it's good if we play it it's really good okay we can play it bot tower is gone anyway so I don't need to run down there yet okay, okay. enemy team shouldn't contest would be bad by them oh looks like they are contesting gonna see if I can find some some magic here Maybe we can find this. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna look for you. Base, maybe. Base run bot. I did my job. CP bot, actually. Just make sure Trinomir doesn't get anything. I don't want him to get the tower. Check the bush with E. I think I could have ran bot lane. I didn't calculate how far out the wave was. It's kind of my bad. Yeah, I kind of expect. <gasps> misclick. 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 I'm dead for that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm such a griefer. Don't kill me, please, puppy. <laughs> Calculated. Calculated. Yeah, I think if I didn't pop potions there, maybe I was dead. But I will just say that was absolutely calculated. No doubt in my mind. I knew I would live. I knew I could mind control him into diving me. And I knew that I would exactly live with 2 HP left. There was no like doubt in my mind that this was the most calculated play of all time. And that's why I'm a coach and you're not a coach. That's exactly why. <laughs> this is also why I have been master for the last 100 games. And not gotten to challenger yet. Because I make mistakes like these. Which... I mean, it would have been a shutdown if I died there. Ends up working out, because I'm lucky. And he didn't crit enough to kill me, but... You know, I should still die for that. I think Fiora just runs top lane now, and I run bot lane. I think it's good. But maybe we don't want me in the long lane against Trindemir, actually. Because he just bops me, doesn't he? Wait, brother, you good? You good, my brother? Yeah, okay. Got your flash, I guess. Sure. Uh, I should just try to not die here. Drake's coming up. I should just avoid deaths as much as possible. MF is pretty scary, actually. Would be nice if Pike comes bot side here to play. Would be really chill, actually. Nice. Spike is good, by the way. Spike, Spike is good. I like it. It's a good play. Shadow me on side lane when I'm winning super hard. Give me some free money as well. Yeah, brother, why not? Let's go. I can keep pressuring this tower now. You know, I would have liked if you continued to play bot side, but it's fine. I understand if you... If, if you oh, that hit me. I understand if you in your duties feel the need to join up with your teammates. I understand. Even though I would prefer that you didn't. But it's okay. We can't really pressure this, I don't think. I can look for ults on her, that's about it. But 
it. It's not like my ult does that much damage. Because I'm not playing AP setup, right? But we do get Drake uncontested, which is nice. I could reset here, but I feel like we're pressuring so much that maybe I don't even want to. Kind of want these Krug, Kruggy boys, actually. Hello? Can you spawn? Thank you. We absolutely do not kill the Trindamir, by the way. Not again. But I do want these Kruggy dungeons. There we go. Got the Kruggy boys. Yeah, I mean, this guy will just rage split till the end of the earth, right? I think we have, we've all come to this conclusion. I think he can just rage split till the end of the earth as well. Navori next. Navori, really nice with your ult, really nice with your E, allows you to have perma E in fights if you can auto, and your E actually does a lot of damage. Um, Assuming it just keeps on hitting people, right? It's pretty good against tanks as well because it shreds a lot of their armor. It's pretty pretty cracked actually. Hello, boss. I mean, you can jump over if you want to, but you don't kill me. So let's just be aware of this, right? Oh, he's looking for a mid lane play or what? Oh, he is. How oh, interesting. I mean, I could TP up here. I, think I might have to, but there's nothing to TP to. I think my Fiora is just dead. <laughs> I mean, enemy team might try to Nash here, because it's the only play they have available, but I think they shouldn't, because they're against the Corky. Who will make that quite miserable. Well, I mean, if I miss every single skill shot, however, then maybe it's more doable for them. Oh, good flash by you. But uh, unfortunately, you're dead as well. Mm, reset. Where did she go? Where is she? Where did the misfortune go? I wanted to kill Elise and then turn on the misfortune. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe just insta go for MF? The reason I wanted to kill the Elise first was so we could get Nash. Though, that was my argument for killing Elise. Just wait Zaya if we can. Nice. Got the Zaya buff as well. Nice. I like it. Nice. Go for my reset. Get Navori. Oh, well. Okay, you want a hull breaker bot lane? That's chill. Sure. I would kind of like the blue buff though, but I guess we can just A ram mid lane as well. I think Gragas should push one more wave topside. Might be a bit ugly for me. Hmm. Okay. This is a bit weird. I don't know how I want to open this. Maybe I want to open through mid lane. But it's pretty hard for me to go pressure top lane. I think we can just make it simple. Just play everyone together. Have Fiora side lane. Go into enemy jungle. I don't mind this idea that much. This is fine idea, I think. Shove every wave, have Fiora take bot side. Oh, can't believe that misses, that sucks. Damn, can I hit like one singular skill shot? It would be really cool actually. I also don't like that my Fiora doesn't move, but yeah, sure. You should find that, okay. Can you find the MF as well? It's not very pretty, but it works. Because my Echo is also good at the game. She will jump up. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, it works. It works. Wasn't pretty, but it works. I think I just get stopwatch here. In case this happens again. What would my actual next item be? 
I think stopwatch is good. Maybe something like Essence River or Bloodthirster. I think Bloodthirster is also really nice. Item makes me very tanky, right? Essence River gives me a lot of CDR, which is also nice. Maybe I could actually go Hydra here or something like this. But I think I need to keep on going crit just because I have Navori. Oh wait, yeah, Drake is spawning. I have to run down here. I'd love to go topside here and start splitting. But... <laughs> yeah, you're useful, Trindamir. But don't be too useful now, my buddy. Don't be too useful, my brother in Christ. You're scaring me with how useful you are. Well, looks like they're playing this. I think we can play this. Try to turn, try to turn, try to turn. Yeah, yeah, good bait, good bait. I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Really good bait by you, brother. Yeah, keep going. Keep chasing. Nice. Save me, puppy! <laughs> Don't let me die! Oh my god, push the wave. Push the wave, reset, TP. I like it. I have TP. Oh, whoops. Just TP bot lane. Ah, we TP mid lane. We're fighting this. Oh, GG! I almost died to Gragas there, that was terrifying. What a clean game. Early game could be played better in terms of how I space. And I think when Trindamir roams there to into my jungle, I just stay mid lane and I just take the advantage. I shouldn't try to follow. I have this really bad habit lately of trying to follow every single play that's that's like going on on the map and I just shouldn't. I should evaluate like objectively is it a good play and how do I punish it the best? Because even if Trinomir takes Gromp there, if I just stay mid lane, push it out, like sure he blows his flash to get Gromp but you lose an entire wave mid lane. It's a losing trade for you. And then you can't go make that play on the top side afterwards. But instead, because I just stay mid or I just try to follow the roam, now Turnamir comes back into mid lane and he gets to try to make a play again on the top side. And he actually gets to deny my echo two camps, when in reality it should have only been one. And then I should have had a move timer afterwards. So I think I trolled a little bit there. But yeah, it's like hard for me in the moment. I get I have this bad tendency of getting dragged around the map a lot by whatever is going on. I think I need to to be a bit more aware of that in the game. So moving forward, I'm going to try to be more aware of that. Especially when I'm playing these champions like Corky. If I'm playing Ari or something like that, right? Gragas. I will probably move there. Because I know I'm strong early and I know I can do something. But a lot of instances, I think I just shouldn't move there. I just say, okay, turn the mirror's griefing. But I think it's important that everyone tries to figure out like what bad habits they have. Because that is a really bad habit that I have. And I'm going to try to fix that. So we're going to be mentally aware of that the next time we head into the game. Alright, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary and have a good one. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.